<laughs> Welcome to yet another whiskey video. Uh, today I was out uh, with my son. I took my son. We got him a basketball goal, and you know, just doing the dad life thing. And uh, you know, every time I'm out, I like to go hunting in the stores. And uh, I was just mentioning on the last video about uh, comparing a bunch of single barrels, and I didn't have any brown foreman single barrels. I didn't have any Old Forester in particular or Woodford Reserve. Today, I found an Old Forester single barrel, barrel strength store pick. Um, I've smelled it, it smells awesome. I haven't tasted it yet, and I was really excited to find it. The store pick comes from Pops Wine and Liquors, uh, owned by David Sprouse, which me and him had a good conversation. Uh, he sounds like he's very enlightened when it comes to uh, whiskey and bourbon and, and all the such. I'm sure he's well-versed in his wines, too. He sells a lot of wine, obviously. Uh, but he is out on Emory Road in the shopping center at 603 East Emory Road, Suite 109 in Powell, Tennessee. If uh, you're close to me or if you're close to Powell and you want to swing in there and check this out. Uh, all right, so let's talk about this old Forester. It is 65.4% ABV, bringing in a 130.8 proof. So this is going to drink like stag, is what this is going to drink like, like stag junior. Uh, it looks like it comes from warehouse I on floor one. Uh, but hand selected by Pops uh, through a uh, heat... He tells me that they used to go to the distilleries to pick out their store picks, but now uh, he's getting kits. He's getting tasting samples and kits and picking from those. Hand selected this one, more like taste selected this one. And uh, he seems to be very happy with it. He's very, very excited with it. And I'm finally, I'm excited to finally have an Old Forester single barrel. Uh, so let's... Pour. Nice healthy pour. It's it doesn't smell as strong as Stag Junior, uh, but it's definitely in. Okay, strong alcohol. Nice oak notes, nice oak notes, not strong oak notes. It's coming off, it's coming off slightly sweet on the nose. Now I've not had any whiskey today, so this is going to burn my ass up, I am sure, at, a, at almost 131 proof. Okay. It has a. It just has a nice, uh, ever so slightly smoky uh, nose to it. Nice and sweet, nice and oaky. Um, it just. It smells like a fan fucking tastic bourbon. Mm, it just smells good. This smells like it would go really well with a nice sweet cigar. I'm not getting tobacco in it, but it smells like it would complement uh, tobacco really well. Yeah, really nice. I think I picked up a little cherry there. Getting a little bit of that uh, banana bread. When I'm not getting a nose full of alcohol, it's, it's getting strong as it opens up. A little bit of dried fruits like uh, raisins or you know dehydrated apricots. Again, just you know, really super classic uh, old forester notes coming out of this. Right there, I got some sugar. I got some brown sugar there. I got a feeling water is going to open this up a whole lot. 
Uh, let's just go ahead and dig into this. Oh, it's hot. So nice. So nice. Damn it. I hate it when these things are so good because, okay, I paid 120 bucks for this. Uh, you might think I'm crazy, but this is a store pick. And I haven't seen store picks, Old Forester, single barrel, barrel strength anywhere else in East Tennessee yet. And this is amazing. It's hot. I ain't gonna lie, it is hot. It is hot all around the palate. And it, it doesn't it doesn't burn real bad. It's not gonna it's not gonna gas you out, choke you out on the way down. But it's warm. Uh, and it's not a real heavy rye herb spice. It's it's just the alcohol. It's it's an alcohol spice. It's alcohol heat. But it smells amazing and it tastes fantastic. But I would not be surprised if this was better than the 117. The 117 is nowhere near the proof point, for one. Uh, and number two, it may have the same kind of complexity being what it is. But this is, this is like Old Forester. 1920 kicked up. If you're a big fan of the Old Forester 1920, which I've got it in there, this is Old Forester 1920 kicked up, uh, higher proof, and uh, you know, just a, a more not more bold, but more rich in flavor, a whole lot more rich in flavor. I think Old Forester should be doing this a whole hell of a lot more often. They put out a lot of low proof stuff. Whiskey Row series, there's two under 100 and one at and one over 100. Uh, the bottle and bond is at 100 and the, uh, I think, what is it, the 1920? That's 115. Well, this is 130.8, almost 131 proof, and it is fantastic. Finish. It's very viscous, got a lot of oil. Matter of fact, <coughs> it legs nicely, but I mean, a lot of bourbon, when you see the legs, the legs just come down, clearly separated and defined. If I had a better camera right now, I would show you. I don't know if you can see them or not. These legs are still coated. Uh, they're still surrounded by oil on the glass. They're coming down. You can see the legs, but they're not separated and defined. That's how viscous this is. It's very oily. It coats the tongue and the mouth really, really nicely and evenly. When it comes down, it covers the entire palate at the same speed. It's front to back, side to side. And it's hot all the way around the perimeter of the tongue around the palate, um, but not, you know, to the point where you can't stand it. You know, if you fuck up like I just did and swallow it too quick, <coughs> you're going to get it right in the vocal cords. But it's nice and caramely. There's lots of caramel to this, lots of brown sugar, uh, you know, a little bit of cinnamon, so some of that banana bread, giving you those walnuts or pecans, whichever you taste more, I'm getting the walnut, uh, the banana, the bread, the nutmeg, the baking spices, the sugars, um, I'm getting the oak, I'm getting the oak, but it's in a beautiful way. This is probably, hands down, best bounced out oak notes I've ever tasted. Hands down, it smells so good. Yep. Yeah. 
got oak note hits <clears throat> right on the beginning of the finish and then mellows away and that's when you start getting the sweets you know the bananas and all that man that is a beautiful 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 bastard right there that is that's 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 fantastic and again it pisses me off because it's gonna go away and we're never gonna have it again so i'm thinking ooh, i'm thinking maybe in the next day or two i might run down there and grab another bottle i'm gonna grab a backup bottle of this one uh, it's that good it is that good this is worth it i mean this is good this is fantastic man same proof point as stag but i guarantee you in a blind, you're gonna pick this over stack. That's that's a guarantee. I've got batch nine and batch 14. And real similar proof points, uh, but this is, this flavor is hands down, hands, hands down better than stag. Uh, but this right here at 120 bucks, I'd buy this again. And I guarantee any old Forester fan out there Bourbon junkies, if you hear this, if somebody tells you, or if you watch this, uh, I'll tag. Oh, I'll, I'll tag them all in it because this is this is some special old forester. This is good stuff. It's a store pick, so it's not a special release. So it is cheaper than a special release. Um, and like I said, this kicks Stag Junior right in the ass. I mean, right in the ass. It's so good. It's so, so damn good. All right, guys. Uh, hit me in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Give me some questions, comments, feedback, whatever you want. Bitch me out, curse me out, call me names, whatever you want to do. I don't really care. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Please do so. Hit that notification bell because I am going to be coming out with a lot more content. Um, and it's just going to get better and better and better. All right. Thank you very, very much. I'll see you on another video. Cheers. This is good shit. Get a bottle.